So in the previous video, I showed you an app where you basically click a next button and using this kind of variable named index, which is just a number, right? It's one, then two, then three, then four. We kind of show the next picture in the list. Uh, the problem is we just kind of float off the end of this list. We don't, right now, we don't handle the situation where our index becomes five, right? The only valid indexes are one, two, three, four, because we've only got four items in our in our list. So right now, if you run this program, um, everything's cool. It shows the next picture, um, and then it blinks out. Okay, so how do we change that? Well, clearly, when the next button's clicked, we usually want to add one and then show the picture, but we need to take care of the special situation when the index gets too big, when it gets out of range. And of course, we, what we want to do is use an if statement. Okay, we can always ask questions in our event handler. And what I'm going to do is I want to ask, is my index five, right? Is it too big? All right, so I'm going to go grab an equals. And then I'm just going to ask the question, is the value of my variable index, is it equal to five? Okay, so if it's four, if it's two, it's three, it's four, it's fine. But if it's five, you know what? I want to set my variable index back to one. Um, so I'm just going to copy Command C, Command V, and I'm going to get rid of that and instead just set it to one. So in other words, if the index was four, I was showing the last picture, Ginsburg. I'll add one to it. So the index becomes five, but it only becomes five for a second because I immediately switch it back to one. And then what I do is show the first picture of parks. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, cool. Yeah, I show my first picture, show my second picture, third picture, fourth picture, uh, and then I flip around. So exactly what I want. So the code works um, and you know, so this is working code, but I do have some specific, a specific nature to this code. I've got this actual five. And so like, if I did add new items, if I made my list bigger, right, added new items, um, I think my code would stop working. So in the next video, I'll show you how to, how to fix that.